Hey guys, Nichols here. Today we're going to take a look at the Harem King of all Gundam. Not you. We're going to take a look at Saleta, figure ice standard Saleta Mercury from Gundam The Witch from Mercury. On the box art, we get a really good look at Saleta, more pictures of Saleta, front and back shot. This kit retails for 3,200 plus yen. 3,200 yen, I guess it's not bad. Now let's take a look at what's inside. Here we have her pre-painted faceplate. Looks pretty nice. She also comes with a stand that kind of looks like Tamashi Stage Act. Or I guess you can even compare this to the Figma stands. She comes with two additional runners for her skin color. As you can see, she comes with two blank faces that you can decorate with decals that this kit comes with. The skin parts also come in a rather matte or satin look. She also comes with one multicolored plate whose orange parts would make up her haro. It also has black parts for her clothes. They come in a very nice semi-gloss, semi-matte, or I guess satin look. She also comes with gold parts for the trims on her uniform. It's the frosty plastic kind of gold, so you'd probably rather just paint this. And we got red parts for her hair. And lastly, we have a white runner for a majority of her clothes. Comes with three different sticker sheets. She comes with a standard foil sticker sheet. She also comes with eye decals, which allow you to decorate the blank face plates that I showed a while ago. And she also comes with these interesting, very, very shiny golden stickers. I also want to point out that this particular runner, which holds the hand parts, uses some kind of rubbery plastic. Apparently this is not ABS, but it could be just some kind of rubbery kind of polystyrene. It's just a little bit rubbery though. In addition to her default smiling face, she comes with two blank faces, one with an open smiling mouth, and another one with a round mouth that gives you a gasping <gasps> expression or a wow expression. Both mouths are actually molded in the same red color used for Saleta's hair. So if you want them pink, you can either paint them, use the pink foil stickers, or use the pink water slides. And speaking of the water slides, this also contains the eyes that you can use to decorate the blank face plates and give them expression. Basically, you just dip them in water, wait for a while until they soften, and then you can apply them onto the surface. The amount of time you wait for the water slide to soften is actually proportionate to how warm the water is. The warmer the water is, the less time you have to wait. And once the decals feel soft enough to move around the sheet, we can apply them onto the surface of the blank faceplate. I recommend using tweezers for this. Yeah, it can be pretty tricky at first, but you'll get used to it. And once you've aligned the eyes together, you can dry up the water slides with a cotton bud. That I recommend you top coat the decals for better protection. And for the golden trims of Soleta's uniform, you can either use the foil stickers or these new, very shiny and pretty thick state-of-the-art stickers that I have not seen before. This is, this is new. This is like some new stuff. Bandai apparently calls these the new engraving stickers. So what you do is that you cut out the sticker you wish to apply. You can use scissors for that. Then you just put it on your intended surface. And once you're satisfied with the placement, just rub it. It's very similar to Bandai's old dry transfer decals that they used for master grades. And once you think you've rubbed hard enough, you just take off the sheet. And voila, you got a really, really nice and shiny golden sticker on the surface of her uniform. And it looks amazing. And I also want to commend Bandai for giving us spares. So like if you screw one up, you can you have another one. You have another of the logo sticker and that goes for like the collar patterns as well. I also want to note that the engraving stickers will crack if you try to take them off. So yeah, just make the most out of them. Be careful the first time you put them. I actually experimented with mine. I tried taking this off and it resulted in like a small crack over there if you, if you can see it. So yeah, these stickers are not reusable, and I guess that's why Bandai gave us spares to begin with. Now putting Saleta together is actually very similar to putting a 30-minute sister's kit together. And here's what she looks like outside of the box. I may paint this kit in the future, so I only put one sticker, which is the logo. She does come with other stickers that you can use to further decorate her, but I will show them to you a little later. For now, let's focus on her aesthetics. 
If you look closely at her face, she's actually not anime accurate. Banai decided to base her design on illustrations by Mogumo, one of the character designers for G-Witch. So if you want an anime accurate Soleta, I suggest you just wait for the SHF. But if you like Mogumo's illustrations of the characters, I think I can recommend the aesthetics of this one. Now for her articulation, it's actually good but not great. It's very similar to 30 Minute Sisters but not as fluid like there are some things this can't do that 30 Minute Sisters can. Starting with the head, she can do the chicken movement thanks to a double ball joint. Uh, by the way, when moving the head, I just want to know that her hair, or rather the edges of her hair are actually pretty sharp and might be prone to breaking if you press them too much. I mean, so far, uh, in my case, I think so far so good, but yeah, just be careful. Better safe than sorry, right? Her ponytail will wiggle like that because it's on a ball joint. Now she has that same joint that 30 Minute Sisters kits have that allows her head to go side to side pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> she won't really be able to look up that much. If you're satisfied with that, I guess, good for you. But she does have a diaphragm joint that makes her go back that much and forwards that much. Yeah, her diaphragm joint is basically a double ball joint, so it can also do the chicken movement itself. However, it cannot do side to side very well. And I guess this is where 30 minutes sisters kind of beats her. And she can't move side to side on her waist either because, well, her shirt is kind of in the way. Now for the arms, they're quite good. She has a butterfly joint that allows for forwards and backwards movement. Arm will rotate on the shoulder. And she also has a little bit of shoulder swivel thanks to a joint inside her sleeve. Her arms will also spread out that far, not too much, but if you want her to spread even higher, you can just rotate it like that and I guess that's something. <laughs> As for her elbow, yeah, not much, just that. However, there is like a ball joint inside so she can like wiggle her forearm around like that. I guess that's something. And as for her wrist joints, they actually use the exact same joints you see in 30 Minute Sisters. So you have like a diagonal hinge and some rotation. And her holding things hands also use the same joint as the holding things hands of 30 Minute Sisters. Just a simple hinge. Like that. Now for her lower body, it's actually also very similar to 30 Minute Sisters. It can rotate a bit side to side like that. She also comes with a drop down joint that allows you to, well, drop her leg down like that. Oh, and her thigh is actually on a ball joint, so it can wiggle forwards and backwards. This is something that the regular 30 Minute Sisters kits can't do, but the bikini ones can. So yeah, that's something. And of course, you have the usual forwards and backwards movement. Her leg does have a swivel, and the great thing is that you don't see the swivel joint because it's inside her shorts. It's a hidden swivel joint, and that's, that's great. Always great when joints are hidden. She can also bend her knee that far. Very similar to Figma joints. She also has a boot swivel. And because the swivel is on her sock, you don't really see the line. And yeah, that's great. That's always great. Now for the foot itself, it will go backwards like that and forwards. She does not have a toe bend, but she doesn't really need one in my opinion. And lastly, she does have ankle pivot. It's not the best ankle pivot, but it's something. And I think this is all she needs. I don't think she needs crazy ankle pivot anyway. And for a little bit of a split test, I guess this is as far as she goes, which is not bad. So yeah, overall her posability is good, but not great. It could have been better, and I think the SHF will have better articulation. So if articulation is very important to you, I suggest you just wait for the SH figure arts. And for her remaining accessories. In addition to the close fists I had set on her by default, she comes with two open hands, very expressive open hands, two holding things hands, four holding a bunch of accessories including Ariel's own accessories, and other stuff you can get from Gundam or 30 Minutes Missions kits. She comes with an orange haro and pegged hands for holding the haro. You can also use the pegged hands to peg into other things you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Now let's take a look at her haro. This is how it looks like in its fully compressed state. Its wings can fold out, but you're gonna have to use your nails. But if you're like me who just cut his nails, you can use an X-Acto knife. Yeah, just lift it up like that. The Haro does have a hole at the bottom, which is mainly to be used to connect to her. You can also use this hole to connect the Haro onto stands, but I'll get more into that later. And of course, the Action Base 6. Now, I just want to note that her hands are actually 
compatible with 30 Minute Sisters. And speaking of 30 Minute Sisters, her head is also compatible with the body of 30 Minute Sisters. However, you're gonna have to include her neck when you switch the parts. The neck of 30 Minute Sisters is actually quite long, a little too long for Soletta, but the ball joint measurements seem to be exactly the same, so yes, they are perfectly compatible. Just make sure you use Soletta's neck. And in case you guys are wondering if the skin color of Soletta and the 30 Minutes sister's hand body are the same, I can't say for sure if it's 100% the same color, but it sure looks like it. Well, to me, they do look like they're the same color. And I'm sure a lot of you guys purchased Soletta for the sole purpose of doing this, so enjoy! I guess, but please do not put her in a jar, thank you. Now let's take a look at the Action Base 6, Bandai Hobby's newest addition to the Action Base series. Just like most Action Bases, it's very easy to use, you just plug the peg to the hole on her back, like so, and voila, you got Soleta posing on her Action Base. Now of course this Action Base does come with add-ons, it comes with a clamp if you want to use it on figures or kits that don't have a hole, an alternate connection peg that has an extended base base part and an alternate base connector if you want to connect it to bases that have bigger holes. And I think the most interesting part about this action base is that it comes with an optional third segment if you want to make the action base longer or if you want to use this on taller kits. Now comparing the action base 6 to other similar stands, we have the Tamashi Stage Act the Mafex stand and the Figma stand. I actually think that all of these other stands are more durable than the Action Base 6 because as you can see the Action Base 6 has very thin arm segments. I wouldn't recommend using the Action Base 6 for bigger kits. I don't think this can support kits like RG Sazabi, probably not even RG New. For me, the only advantage the Action Base 6 has over these other stands is that you can extend it with a third segment, but actually that's it. In my opinion, the Tamashi Stage Act is still the superior stand. Though I also want to point out something interesting I found about the Action Base 6. The way the joints are put together, it uses this locking mechanism. Basically, you push the segment down to the other segment and then you you twist it and then it locks in place. Yeah, I, I find that very interesting. And the joints are tight enough. You know, they're not too tight. They're not loose. They're just, you know, the right amount of tight. So yeah, it's still a good stand. I just think that the Tamashi Stage Act is superior. But of course, this isn't a master grade or a real grade or a perfect grade. So yeah, both Soleta and her Haro have missing color applications. So as usual, Bandai gives us the usual foil sticker sheet to address that issue. As mentioned a while ago, you get some for her mouth. You also get small white ones for the small details on her headband. You also get these long blue stickers for for these blue bands that she puts on her ponytail. She also comes with gray stickers for the insides of her haro. And she also comes with foil counterparts of the golden engraving stickers I showed you a while ago. But of course, you'd much rather just use the engraving stickers. And now for size comparisons, here's her next to High Grade Gundam Lufreath and High Grade Gundam Aerial. And in case you guys are wondering, the heads are not completely compatible, but you can try to make it work, but you might end up stressing the joints if you force them into much. And if you put Soleta's head on Ariel, you're gonna need some sticky tack because it's a little bit loose. Now here's her next to Figure Eye Standard Kamen Rider Agito and the Sand Trooper from Bandai Star Wars Model Kits line. And here's her next to female figures from other lines. This is Figma Emily School Uniform and SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kavala. And because she is Figure Eye Standard, she is taller than both of them. And here's her next to her schoolmate Mayfex Miles Morales. And last but not the least, here's her next to her long lost sister, 30 minutes sister is Luluse. And yes, Soleta still is a bit taller than Luluse as you can see. And here's them with their body switched. The Soleta body still is taller than the 30 minute sister's body. So now time to answer the question I'm sure most of you have right now. Do I recommend this kit? I only recommend this if you want a Soleta figure that you can customize or kit bash or paint. But if you just want a really good looking anime accurate Soleta figure, and if you're willing to pay more money, I suggest you just wait for the SH Figure Arts. That's it for the review. I hope I helped you decide whether or not you want to get this figure. I personally am very satisfied with this kit because it gives a lot of stuff we haven't seen before, including the Action Base 6 and the engraving stickers. And on top of that, it's very customizable. It's very compatible with 30 Minute Sisters and Gunpla kits. So yeah, that's it for the review. You all have a nice day.